Had, howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. I don't really care, but I hope you are. <laughs> hope you had a good Easter. We had a nice break. It was nice to have some time off. Played some golf. That was okay. Had a couple of pars, but I had a couple of bloody triple bogeys which weren't any good. Anyway, enough of that. We've been flat knacker, getting an auction together. Lots of nice stuff. More nice jewellery. Ladies nine carat Tudor watch. Ladies nine carat Rolex watch. They are both as found. This is a nice 18 carat um, brooch with a lovely inlaid sort of centre floral design. Really nice little Rennie McIntosh collection, sterling silver brooch over the back in its box. There's two nice um, English penny red stamps in there. We've got matchboxes and dinkies, some good watches. Australian wildflower silk cigarette cards, and these are nice little copper and brass measures. All right, that'll do for the jewelry cabinet. Nice little outdoor cast aluminium setting. Some records, the Eagles, there's a bit of Bob Marley in amongst there, and Elvis. Uh, Renee Gaya got in there, but anyway. Madonna, good group. Nice lot of vintage toys and games and puzzles and stuff. Wrestlers with a David Bromley print. It is just a print. We thought it was quite appropriate to put it with a box of wrestlers. Ladies clothing, vintage and modern. Another good lot of records, Rolling Stones and amongst there and some other sort of Mark Gillespie, Doug Owen. There you go, some pretty cool stuff in there. It's a good little group lot, sort of vintage men's shirts and Ray-Ban sunglasses and stuff. Gear and stuff bag. Good lot of stamps. We've got lots of nice stamps in the auction this week. Another big lot of toys and sort of stuff. Money boxes. Star Wars Clone Wars. Pretty keen for the last episode of Mando tonight. Four boxes of the mixed items. Another big lot of games and puzzles and stuff. There you go. A whole set of dental clinics of North America books with a box of soft toys and a pedigree doll. Cool novelty tea towels. Nice lot of crystal with a nice cutlery set. This is a good box of vintage kitchen gear. And also we got some framed Elvis presentations. But everything in there is reproduction. The record's not, but the record cover is. <laughs> anyway, more silk cigarette cards. This is a good little group, lot of mixed items. Some good watches. More silk cigarette cards and some other nice little bits of silk with the French and English flags on them. Looks like Pogo. <laughs> nice little local hall stand. He's nice, the old washing copper. There's a nice big rug rolled up down the bottom there. Gramophone's a ripper. Collection of sort of unframed works on paper. There you go. They're all signed, all lithographs and stuff like that. And this is a nice Bell School oil, Burke and Wills Monument in Melbourne. Cossington Smith print, might not be a print. What else have we got? Gramophone horns, boxes of stuff, boxes of records, a hammock and an umbrella. Big lot of tools and gear. Heaps of board games and stuff. Tins, bottles. More stuff, some things. Nice big old scythe. It's a great little box of sort of nautical gear, really nice old anchors and boys and stuff. More games, more records, good turntable and a little four channel mixer. <coughs> Pair of pretty cool IKEA chairs, they've got all the details underneath, made in Italy. These are nice, the Italian MDF, modernist little swivel chairs. Really nice rug. There's another one down there. The little one out's a nice bit. Pretty cool pair of the cane bar stools, kind of like the green little drum sort of stool. <coughs> what else have we got? These are by Valda Cumming. I think she's part of the Bo Morris Art Group. 
Still Life with Doll. It's rice paddy. The rice fields is a pretty amazing thing. Kind of like them. There you go. A couple of old skaties and a cool old Guardian helmet. Well, they were the main competition for Stack Hat, but I think we all know who won. I reckon that's the second Guardian helmet I've seen in about 30 years. Racing car games and stuff. TV show games. <laughs> Bit of perfect match, huh? Good old Dexter. More games, more crystal and glass. Nice lot of retro kitchen stuff. Nice set of canisters. Footy cards and stickers. Australian pottery with the handstand canisters. Some nice stamp albums and philatelic ephemera. And amongst that group. And we've got lots of nice paintings this week. I really like this pencil by Lee Stewart. I think she's pretty amazing, I reckon. 1982. Elizabeth Pryor Oils, really nice bit. I think she was a student of Jock Freder or someone like that. Uh, we've got these fantastic Jeffrey Ricardo Oils. This one's called The Green Jester. This one's called Three Heads. This one's called Self Portrait with a Blue Hat. Good things. All f real amazing frames, actually, all from Australian galleries. Beryl Black Watercolour. The Plum is a lovely little bit. Really nice big Robert Langley charcoal. Little Merrick Boyd drawings a ripper. Diane Mogginson. And there's some other things. Norma Cat Oil and a Mel Underwood. Little British sort of modernist um, screen print as well. <laughs> big 1980s Japanese oil painting of ducks and reeds. Nice big decorative thing. Yeah, some great paintings this week. What else have we got? We've got a big bottle of Plonk. Big Magnum bottle. It looks to be leaking a little bit. A couple of nice decorative oil paintings. A bottle of pen folds, but I'm not sure if the original contents are in there. More good stamps. Records, Toll Toys Toys. This is a modern painting. It looks older than it actually is. More stamps. There you go, the Russian stamps. Commemorate space, first day covers. Pretty cool, bit of Yuri Gagarin, that's him. <coughs> Squeaky toys that work. Other toys. This is a nice European watercolour, 19th century. <laughs> and this thing. Fantastic, goes on the handlebar of your bike and you've got a motorbike all of a sudden. This is a really nice stamp album, all hinged in pre-decimal Australian stuff. You got some more nice bits, watercolour, and this nice big wood engraving. Uh, big Pro Heart screen print. A couple of sort of classical figures. Nice retro lamp. Ferraris. Shorter and Son, Dalton. Silha. Some nice little collection of cigarette boxes and chocolate boxes. More good records, marbles, educational toys, African <laughs> bronze up the top there. It's quite large. It's quite heavy. A couple of Valentine singles, which was an early Bon Scott band, Tom and Jerry. Australian games. A couple of nice bits of tribal. I really like the fish, the carved gourd, gourd fish. Australian pottery, Noritake, Wedgwood, Dalton. There you go, another nice little collection of Noritake. Nice little collection of Australian and English pottery. Dick Turpin. Another nice lot of art glass. With a nice big blue comport or bowl with a little sticker made in Poland. <coughs> Lovely big mermaid glass bowl. Uh, Czechoslovakian, I think. The name will come to me later on when I'm finished doing this video. <laughs> This is a pretty cool bit. Don Bradman, which is signed there in the gold texture, you can see across the front of his knee. Fantastic vintage garden golf game. This is a great little bit, the Brownies golf nursery plate. Sort of hand-built stereoscope view with some handmade sort of stereoscope slides. Nice little Foley Tees coffee set. Couple of nice bits of Joseph Sankey and Sons. 
Australian Pottery, the little Martin Boyd ashtrays damaged, but the jacket's good, Beryl Armstrong and Wilton. Nice little clock with the animated sort of ballet dancer. Fantastic Albany ice cream advertising fan. It's just missing the little stick to hold. Aston Martin, Ford Falcon, two-door. Really nice Andrew Park watercolour. Lovely um, luster, 19th century little luster plate. Great little sort of Barsoni style figure. This is a real, this is a good early Arnott's tin there, made up in New South Wales in Homebush. And then there's him, Otto von Bismarck. Portrait of him. Uh, it's KPM panel. It is signed with initials here on the right hand side. There's other images of the marks and the KPM panel on the back on the website. Ripper of a bit, great frame. This thing's easily fixed. Just a lovely, lovely thing. But anyway, guys, that'll do. Hopefully you're all well. Hopefully you didn't eat too many Easter eggs. Be good. See us tomorrow night.